Um, but yeah, so last night was awful. And then on top of it all, <laughs> Casper, bless his sweet soul, um, he likes to have his water bottle, like, by his bed at night. So if he gets thirsty, he can wake up, have some water, use his potty, and then goes back to bed. Usually, no problem. So I don't know if his water bottle lid was, like, loose, or if he was not completely awake, but I'm, like, trying to snuggle this one to sleep in our bed. Felix is, like, back and forth, both boobs, going at it, like, doesn't know what's what, can't fall asleep to save his life. So I am snuggling him, and I hear Casper going, like, And I don't want to, like, yell out to him, like, come here, bud. Or, like, it's okay, go back to sleep. Because I'm trying to get this one to sleep. But then I was like, okay, screw it. Because, like, he's clearly not going to sleep. So I, like, call for him. And uh, he comes, like, toddling in with his little bunny. And um, I'm like, do you, do you need to snuggle? He goes, yeah. So like, okay, climb up. So he snuggles in and, like, wraps his little arm around me. So I'm covered in children and snuggling and then for some reason I managed to like touch Casper's tummy like on his pajama shirt like my arm I don't know if I was like trying to like wrap around him and his stomach felt wet and of course I'm like oh god I hope you didn't pee I'm not even looking at the camera I hope you didn't like pee your bed because then you're snuggling me with like pee jammies I don't want to be snuggled with pee jammies right exactly so. thank god it was just water it was just water. And Peter hadn't come back upstairs yet. He was like tidying stuff up on his desk in the basement and like gathering things because I, he couldn't get Felix back to sleep. So I ran upstairs and like left all my crap down there. So then I was like, okay, no one's asleep. Who cares? So I got out of bed and uh, holding Felix and I'm like tootling around upstairs, finding fresh pajamas for Casper. What are you saying? Yeah. And of course Casper's all upset. I think he's like disappointed in himself. But I was like, dude, it's just water. Like it happens, whatever. So I'm like yelling over the banister like, are you coming upstairs? Because like I need a hand. And so I pass off Felix to Peter when he gets upstairs. And I'm stripping Casper out of his jammies, putting fresh jammies on him. But then he's sad because he's not wearing the jammies he wanted. And I was like, well, they're soaked. So like, no. <sighs> so I snuggled him. Peter snuggled Felix, trying to get somebody to fall asleep. Casper was like he was content at that point like he was dry and happy and whatever so I said to him like are you ready to go back to your bed yeah okay so I carried him back to his room he does pee on his potty snuggles in give him his blankies his bunnies he's happy I don't know what happened with him after that I think he slept through until this morning because then vaguely I recall there was an extra kid in the bed Felix was another story it took some hardcore snugs to get him down finally he fell asleep i think but it was a bad night it was like a really rough night
ready? You see, let's go, Mom. Let's go, Mom. Bright outside. Where are we heading? Go and get your brother? It's frosty out here. It's only nine degrees. Actually, let me see if there's one in the fridge. Yeah, there's this one. This one. Salmon and veggies. Ah, no, it's just Nothing. It's empty. They're all empty. I haven't put anything in them yet. Because I haven't made it that far, I was trying to get the dishwasher unloaded. Look at it. It's flipped to this. You're silly. Galosh. Just don't break them, okay? Hi. We are having cabbage rolls that Grandma and Grandpa made for us that I put in the crock pot today. Oh yeah, crazy. 